a patient's blood glucose level is 270 milligrams per deciliter, and their prescribed correction factor is one unit of insulin for every 30 milligrams per deciliter, above 150 milligrams per deciliter. Calculate the insulin dose needed. Well, we need to start by identifying our givens. So in this problem, we're told that the patient's blood glucose level is 270 milligrams per deciliter. And so we can write that in to our given. Now, we're also told that we have a prescribed correction factor is one unit of insulin for every 30 milligrams per deciliter above 150 milligrams per deciliter. So here we have to figure out how much above 150 milligrams per deciliter our 270 is. So we subtract that from 270 to find the given amount that is above. And we're going to get 120 as our adjusted value. Now that we know how high above our, our desired level we are, we're gonna look and see what are we looking for. We wanna calculate the insulin dose needed. Now, in this case, um, we know that that is going to be the number of units of insulin. So that's our unknown. So what are our conversions? Well, we know there's one unit of insulin for every 30 milligrams per deciliter above 150, right? So we can say one unit is going to be for every 30 milligrams per deciliter. So now we have all the information we need. We can set up our conversion rate with dimensional analysis. So let's put our given in the first part of our railroad track here, 120 milligrams per deciliter. And we have a conversion of one unit for 30 milligrams per deciliter. We want the milligrams per deciliter to cancel, so we would write 30 milligrams per deciliter on the bottom, and that means that we put one unit on the top. This does cancel that unit for us, leaving us with just insulin units as our answer. So now we're gonna multiply across the top. 120 times one is 120, and on the bottom we just have 30, and so when we do that division, we end up with four, and our unit is units of insulin. There you go.